Hey everyone, and welcome to another deep dive. Today we're going on a super interesting journey with an artist named Lee Sylvester Lemon. You might also know him as Levester or Cool Small's 4K Tech. Okay. Uh, but we're going to be looking at just one single artwork of his and how it's changed over time. Hmm. Kind of alongside his own life and the technology that he's using to create the art. Oh, very cool. You know, it's always amazing to me to see how much technology really impacts artistic expression. Yeah. Like it almost feels like each decade has its own like unique creative fingerprint. I think that's absolutely true. I mean, it's not just the tools, but it's the entire landscape of creating art in that era. Yeah. You know, think about art that was created on like a clunky desktop in 2014. It just feels so different from something that someone made on their phone today. Oh yeah, for sure. And that's what's so cool about this deep dive. We're gonna be starting back in 2014 with this piece that Lee created for his friend, Dimitri Sleep. Back then, he was using Adobe Photoshop CS4 on a Windows 8.1 computer. Pretty standard for the time. I mean, we were all glued to those desktops. Right. But can you imagine trying to get, like, those smooth lines and, like, really intricate details just using a mouse? It's hard enough now. I can't imagine back then. It's so different from the touch controls that we've got today. Totally different world. It really shows how far we've come. Back then, Photoshop was, like, the king and digital art was still kind of this niche thing that was like slowly starting to grow, but it felt exclusive. Like you needed specific software and hardware to do it. You even needed like a certain amount of technical knowledge to even get started. Yeah, like you really had to know what you were doing. But then in 2022, Lee's life takes a pretty big turn. Oh. He loses his mother. And in that moment of grief, he actually decides to revisit this artwork. But this time, he's using Procreate Pocket on an iPhone 13 Pro. Whoa. It's almost like he found a new way to connect with the piece. And maybe even with his emotions. Mm -hmm. Through this whole new creative process. That's really powerful. I mean, art can be such a powerful form of healing. And this just highlights how much mobile art creation has grown. Think about Procreate Pocket. It's not like a dumbed down version of Photoshop or anything. It's got features that were made for touch input, like those pressure sensitive brushes. Mm -hmm that feel like you're using real paper. Oh yeah, and then suddenly art's not just stuck on a desktop, it's literally in your pocket, ready whenever you feel inspired. Exactly. It's amazing how accessible art has become. And then if we jump ahead even further to 2024, Lee takes things up another notch and he remasters this piece again. Okay. This time he's using both an iPhone 15 Pro Max with Procreate Pocket mm -hmm. and a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Whoa, two devices at once? What's he doing? It's almost like he's conducting this orchestra of devices. Uh. And they're all playing their part in the creative process. This multi-device approach is so fascinating. It's like he wants to be able to create however he wants, using all the best parts of every tool. Like a chef who uses different knives for different tasks. Maybe he's using special features on each device. Or maybe he's just playing around with how different screen sizes and resolutions change his work. It really shows how artists are pushing the limits of what's possible with tech. And there's this little detail that I love. Lee mentions his brother, Sylvester who now goes by Lavelle Henley. Okay. It's small, yeah. but it just adds this really personal touch. Yeah. It reminds us that this isn't just about technology. It's about life, relationships, yeah. and how they all get woven into art. Yeah, it's like getting a peek into his world oh. through these little details. Exactly. It gives the artwork this whole other layer. It shows how personal growth and artistic development are so intertwined. It's not just the art that's evolving, but Lee himself and the people around him too. And throughout this whole journey, He's super grateful for his faith. He even thanks Jesus Christ for helping him grow. It's a good reminder that our beliefs and values can be a big driving force wow. in our creative pursuits. Absolutely. They give us strength and resilience, even when things get tough. Art isn't made in a vacuum. It comes from the artist's whole being. Their experiences, their beliefs, and the world around them. So we've seen this single piece of art transform over a decade. We've seen tech evolve personal loss and growth, mm. and even spiritual development. It's honestly made me think about how my own creative process has changed over time, mm. especially with all the new tech that's always popping up. So yeah. I'm curious, how has technology changed your creativity? Have you ever felt like revisiting an old project, mm. maybe with a fresh perspective? All right. Let us know. And thanks for joining us for this deep dive. It's been yeah. a wild ride. See you next time.